Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today's episode is about a puzzle I'm very excited about. It's the Azure 121, made and designed by Peter and Kayla Clyde in the US. It's a jigsaw puzzle. I will just get out of the box that you get an idea how it looks like. It's a jigsaw puzzle, which actually from first point of view doesn't sound too exciting, but this one is something very special. You will see it in a minute. And let's first check out what's all inside here in this pouch, also a small letter. It was a joy to craft this puzzle for you. Please use the enclosed tweezers to assemble as fingers tend to leave prints. If prints occur, simply clean with the enclosed microfiber cloth and Windex. Enjoy your puzzle, the Clydes. Why am I so excited about this puzzle? Okay, so here it comes. It's a nice cloth for the assembly. Okay, so and here is the puzzle. Inside here is the puzzle. 121 blue jigsaw pieces. And even this can here is CNC machined. Feels super high quality. And this is the puzzle. And now you maybe understand why I'm so excited about this. Let me just zoom in a bit. Today gonna be a very close up episode, I guess. By the way, it's pretty cool that these are coming with tweezers. Very helpful, I guess. And those pieces here, and I hope my hands are not too shaky. No, I, I don't think so. I think it's still all right. <laughs> those little pieces here are made from titanium, laser cut into these little jigsaw pieces. All information I have from this puzzle is that in the end, it need to look like this here on this picture. So a square shape, every piece, as you can see, Every piece is double-sided, so has the same color from both sides and can be assembled either in one or the other direction. And as you have seen on the picture, there are these stripes and this is because these pieces are polished in different directions to make it a bit easier for the assembly. The puzzle overall is edgeless, which makes it definitely harder to understand where the pieces belong. I mean, what I'm so excited about is what we're talking about. I mean, what we, we are talking now about laser cut titanium puzzles, you know? Five years ago, I, I thought maybe a laser cut cardboard puzzle was already something cool, but now we are talking about laser cut titanium, guys. Anodized in blue and incredibly high quality, I guess. This is just insane. The idea behind and the solving process behind is definitely more or less the same as a common jigsaw puzzles, if you look at the pieces, but how these are made and the excitement and the satisfaction coming with it is definitely on a whole new level. Peter and Kayla, by the way, only selling 100 pieces of each puzzle. So if you would like to get one of their puzzles in the future, you can just check out their website, sign up for a notification or the newsletter, and then get notified if a new puzzle is released and get your puzzle. And that's it pretty much about the introduction. And after the spoiler break, you're gonna see my first attempt trying to solve the Azure 121. So here we go and not sure how to start, to be honest. <laughs> this is probably not too good visible from here, but if you look at it from an angle, some pieces are definitely darker than others. Ah, not sure, not sure. Not sure how to sort them. Probably very difficult to find the first pieces. I will just place them and try to somehow arrange them in a way that I can at least get an overview, yeah? 121 pieces means a 11 by 11 grid. Oh, there's a little engraving in here saying 76, so this might be the number 76 or the puzzle number 76. I hope I will not just kick one off my desk here and lose it. <laughs> this would be horrible. Whew, let's see if this sorting activity here is worth it. Oh, let's just check. Maybe I should look for a piece that looks somehow... Yeah, something like this one here. You know, this has a very... If you can see this here on the top, it has a very sharp edge. And I will now maybe check out if I can find a piece to connect it here. Oh, I think I got my first two. Those, this fits perfectly here. 
Okay, <laughs> here we go. Took me only 15 minutes to find the first piece. Second piece. <laughs> Woo. This is so incredibly difficult, this puzzle. Oh, this is basically impossible to see. I mean, bah. how should I ever get the thing complete? Okay, I sorted the pieces now in a different way. Actually, only five types of pieces. Four connectors, four negative connectors, let's say. Two and two, two and two in this way. Three and one, one and three, and two and two. So maybe this somehow helps me to get a better overview. I have no idea how, <laughs> but maybe it helps. Yes, 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 yes. That's the right approach. I, I have to admit, I completely underestimated this puzzle and um, this thing is incredibly difficult. It's not only difficult like a normal jigsaw puzzle because um, it has a lot of pieces, but this one is difficult because it has up and down sides. It's so tiny that you barely can see a difference between the pieces, but as soon as you find them, they fit perfectly. This is very, very satisfying every time every time you put put one new piece in so basically i need to um, i think the best way to find the pieces is also to orient them in the right way so for example this here is now a pattern this is brushed in this direction okay so that means i will now rotate all the pieces that they are brushed in this direction like so, you can't see this from the top view, but I can see it when looking from here. And then probably I can already exclude a few. Yes! But wait, this one can't fit in there, so this was wrong. Oh! You see this? These two have been connected before, but they, this one fits perfectly on this piece, but actually it's wrong. Won't fit in here. Or this one doesn't belong here, but this is at least connected to two of them. So I would assume this one is right and this one is wrong. So I changed my tactic a bit, I'm rather looking for pieces which has round connectors. So this one, for example, would be not okay to fit on the side, while this one would be perfectly fine, even if it's not convex. And this is what I'm looking for. So when I look for a new piece is the connector, and the second step is the round hole. Puzzle session number three. Yes, so two times one and a half hours, and hopefully today <laughs> I will finally make it. I think it must be in the right place, but sometimes it gets stuck and you can't release it anymore. Five hours puzzling for a jigsaw puzzle with 121 pieces. Double-sided pieces, but incredibly smart and incredibly difficult to see where the pieces belong. And now I finally can show you what I meant with these patterns. You see, when you look from an angle, you see these stripes. And this is what I meant. And look at this. This looks just insane. And look at this. Oh, this looks so cool. Wow. An incredible puzzle, guys. An incredible puzzle. If I tell anyone I needed five hours to finish this puzzle, no one will believe me. But as soon as I try, they will. I'm sure. Conclu so, time for the conclusion. Peter, Kayla, you manufactured something amazing here it's really incredible quality wise but also difficulty wise i completely underestimated this puzzle i thought i'm gonna finish this in like 20 minutes or something but this took me five hours to complete everyone who watched the video i think you noticed 
how difficult it really was. This was no, not overacting. This is for me the, the most difficult normal jigsaw puzzle where you just need to put the pieces together without any trick to finish I've ever tried. On my difficulty scale, definitely a 5 out of 5. Incredibly hard. I can, I can just repeat it again. Incredibly hard, especially in the beginning to connect the first pieces. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you did. Let me know in the comments if this would be a puzzle that's interesting for you. Let me know your thoughts. That's it for today with another amazing puzzle finished. And until next time, keep on puzzling!